UPSC has announced the final rank list of civil services examination 2021. In this short video, we will see the details of the final rank list. Actually, the final rank list is only a partial rank list. This is followed by a reserve list. In the initial list, about 685 candidates are recommended and this is followed by a reserve list in which 63 candidates are expected to be recommended. We will see the details of the final rank list or the first rank list and we will also see what is the consolidated rank list. We will also see the services wise vacancies in this video. So this is what you have to understand when it comes to the final rank list of UPC. Even though UPC mentions the term final rank list, this has actually two components. One is the first rank list which comes uh, uh, early and there is another rank list which is called the reserve list. Okay. So uh, let's initially look at, to understand this concept, let's initially look at the total number of vacancies. The total number of vacancies mentioned by UPC is 749. Out of the 749, in the first rank list, which is also known as the final rank list, UPC has recommended 685 candidates for appointment. Out of the 685, the breakup is as follows. The general total number of candidates from the general category or general merit is 244. Economically weaker section or EWC is 73. Other backward category is 203. Scheduled category is 105. And scheduled tribe is 60. And the total is 685. Only 685 candidates, 685 uh, candidates are recommended initially by UPC. And the remaining number of candidates, uh, 749 minus 685, that comes 64. Hmm? So the 64 candidates are to be recommended later through the reserve list. However, for the reserve list purpose, UPC maintains the double the number of the general candidates. So the general candidates is 63. So the total number of candidates who will be kept in the consolidated reserve list that will that will be kept confidential until that result uh, that that rank list is published that number will be double but the vacancies will be only half of that that is 63 so there is one uh, now one candidate missing and if you can find that if you scroll down if you scroll down you can find that the result of one candidate has been kept withheld so if you add one to the 63 and if you add it with 685 you get the number 749 that is how it, it uh, that is the split again now we can uh, have a look at the services wise split okay for IAS there is 180 seats 180 is the vacancy for the Indian administrative service for I IFS or Indian foreign service the total vacancies are 37 and for IPS the total vacancies are 200 and for all other central services, group A services, there is 242 vacancies and this includes services like IRS IT, IRS Customs and Excise, IPOS, IAAS, etc. And also there are 90 group B services which and if you add all, all these together, the total number of vacancies for all the services, there are around 20 services. If you add, add the vacancies of all the 20, 20 services, for UPC CSC 2021, the vacancies were 749. However, the vacancies are increasing next year. That is in 2022, the, um, uh, the reported vacancies is, are around 1100. So you can expect around 40% increase in the total number of vacancies uh, when compared to uh, this year. And now if you scroll down, uh, you can find the list of the recommended candidates. Yeah, that is in the first list, that is around 685 candidates are recommended. And you can see Sh uh, Shruti Sharma secured All India Rank 1 in this examination. And uh, she is followed by Ankita Agarwal and Gamini Singla. And you can see that all the, the first three names in this list are actually girls. Uh, women candidates secured top three positions and that itself is a peculiarity for this year. So uh, that's it uh, about the results of this year uh, and if you scroll down you can see there are around 685 candidates uh, in this uh, list. Okay, work hard, study hard to secure a place uh, of yours in, in the final rank list as soon as possible. All the best.